Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna have another player review from the new fitness SPCs that we got. Uh, today we got Luke Bacchio and Makui. Obviously the one player that I'm very interested in doing and I did right away is this Makui. Uh, he was more expensive than uh, yesterday's Simon. Uh, today's required an 86 overall. Fortunately, I had uh, quite a few 87 and 86 uh, untradeable, so it was easy to complete. There was no special uh, inform required. So we did that. Uh, I, I liked him because I can fit him right into this team on the right side with Politano and swap out Danilo, hopefully for Malkweed if he's better. So let's have a look at his uh, stats. First of all, uh, he's 178, so that would be close to 511, uh, something like that. Uh, high medium. Um, not very good uh, there for a stay back, uh, right back, which is what I play. Um, right foot with three star and three star skill moves. So, okay there. Uh, we go into his pace, which is very good. 87 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. Um, doesn't even need any boost there uh, for that matter. Uh, we skip his shooting, we go to his passing, passing which is uh, 74 in vision, 86 crossing and 84 short pass and 78 long pass, uh, quite low on the curve. So um, he's got good short pass and good crossing, but he needs improvement in the curve in order to fully um, uh, get the most out of his crossing. Now his dribbling is great. Uh, you can see his agility is quite high, 85 and his balance as well. Uh, his reactions is very good as well on 80 and 82 ball control and 87 dribbling and his 75 composure. So this is another portion of his stats that uh, are very good and you don't really need to touch him for a um, defender. And uh, we go to his defending stats where you can see he has 79 interceptions, uh, 71 heading accuracy, 81 defensive awareness, 84 standing tackle and 84 sliding tackle. Now this is the main stat that you need to improve right away by uh, getting the, the most, uh, the best chem that will give you the most stats in this. In this part and in his physicals you see the the things that matter with this guy will be his stamina which is 82 which is uh, fantastic uh, 77 strength and 82 aggression is also a very big part of a uh, fullback that uh, you want him to be as uh, powerful and as aggressive as possible in winning back those balls so what we need is a good chem style to improve it maybe a sentinel or a guardian maybe improving defending and dribbling something like that um, we'll apply a chem style and then I'll see how I move this team around to fit him in. Obviously he fits right in here, but uh, he won't get full chem. So I'll see how I'll switch this team, uh, this team around to fit Malkui, and we'll be right back. So um, there was a lot of things I could have done. Uh, eventually, just for the sake of it, I'm just gonna leave Acuna there and play him on seven chem. Uh, he should be fine. Uh, so we switched the Ferdinand around just to get uh, Malkui on 10 chem. We also applied the Guardian chem style uh, because that will give him plus 10 on interceptions, so that will go to 89. Uh, we're going to get uh, 15 on defensive awareness to 96, um, 94 standing tackle, and 99 sliding tackle. We're also going to up that dribbling to his agility to 95, uh, 92 ball control, um, 92 dribbling, and 80 composure. So this looks like the best chem style to apply to him at the moment. So once again, like we always do, we're going to head straight up to um, one or two, probably two um, foot champions games in the weekend league and see if this guy helps us um, defensively to win some games. Yesterday we had Moses where he helped us offensively with two games that we played in the foot champions. Uh, he scored five goals and one assist in two foot champions games. So today with Mark Waite, we'll see if he uh, plays better at least. Uh, than Danilo that we have in this right back position and also if he can help us win these two foot champions games. All right, here we go with the first team. Uh, very solid uh, Prem team with uh, a couple of uh, La Liga players there. We have uh, Bamiyang, Mane, Salah, very good, very fast up top. So it's gonna be a, a very good um, test for Malkui and see if he can stop any of those very fast attackers uh, running our way. Very bad defending there. Very bad defending by me. There we go. There's his first touch. Let's see. Let's go. Let's 
go again and try it. There it goes. See if you can catch up to Aubameyang. Oh, I stopped there. That was bad. Shouldn't have stopped there. Probably would have caught up to him. Very good there by Malqui. That was his first interception. His first touch on the ball, um, defensive-wise, and it was very successful. I'm trying to bring him up a bit. See if we can get more out of him. See, it's very dangerous. Do that, but... Malqui, very good. Defensive awareness there, getting in front of the ball. Very right, good defensive awareness again by Malqui. Let's go. Pass the pack. Get in there. Oh my god. What a super sub. He's only in for two minutes. <laughs> he scores a goal. We didn't see much of Malkweed. I want to say maybe four or five uh, times where he actually got involved in it. I think uh, one or two times that he got involved and I was controlling him. Um, he didn't do that much because of my mistakes of cutting him short, uh, thinking that uh, my def the attacker is going to uh, stop. So uh, it kind of missed him. As you can see here, uh, 9 on 9 passes, 8 on 9 dribbles, and 1 on 3 tackles. Uh, the 2 or 3 times that um, it was the DI, AI movement, off the ball uh, movement, uh, his defensive awareness was excellent as both both times or three times, I think, he actually went ahead of the opponent's ball and, and cut the ball very nice and uh, won the ball. So all in all, I, I would say he looks all right, but it wasn't enough for me to judge from that. So what we have to do is go into another for Champions game and see what we can uh, do with him there. All right, here we go. Second game. Uh, we're going straight back in to test this Maqui. Another Prem slash a bit of La Liga there. Uh, very good attack, Udragenio, um, Martial, I didn't know anybody was using normal Martial. So, let's see if we can get more work for uh, Mokwi in this second game and test out um, his defensive capabilities. There we go, let's get first touch. Wow. Not a good roulette there, let's see if we can get it back. Not enough strength there. Not enough strength there to push him off the ball, so that wasn't very good. Get it, shoot it, go. Good goal. Nakajima there. All right, there we go. You can actually push him up top. Let's see if he's good offensively. Yes, there we go. Excellent ball. Excellent. Oh, he doesn't feel that fast. I don't know why he didn't feel that faster. Felt like he was lagging behind. Oh, excellent ball by Mokwe. Let's see. What? Is that a red card? Yeah, it's a red. Get Malkwe involved. Ah. It's not getting back too fast. And that should be... Oh, what? what kind of tackle? What? What are these tackles? Oh my god. What? Jesus Christ, Malkwe. Come on, dude. Alright, first half. Uh, Mokwe is a lot more involved, but I'm not happy with this guy. 
either defensively or offensively. I don't think he's all there. Mainly, I don't know, um, his work rates, when you push him up, he doesn't uh, come quickly back because he's high low or high medium, uh, if I remember right. And uh, also his attacking capabilities are not that great. Wow, can't believe this game has gone to extra time. It's unbelievable. I mean, this guy had one attack the whole second half. I've been shooting my ass off at the keeper. Loris has been saving everything. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> 18 shots, 11 on target, 63 possession. <laughs> and I can't score a goal. Wow, so we go to extra time. I also switched the... Uh, the formation to a narrow formation with two attackers to get more bodies into the box, but it's one of those games, man, I'll tell you. Nothing's working for you, you do everything, and then you lose. So let's check uh, Mokweet once again. Uh, 9 on 9 passes, 5 on 10 dribbles, and 1 on 2 tackles. He improved a bit in the second half, but the second half has been all me, so I can't really judge from that. Yes, there we go, finally. <laughs> we get a header with Nakajima, the shortest player on the team. There we go, we get a rage quit. Let's see the stats because these stats are gonna be amazing. Um, the final stats of the game. So let's check out uh, Mokweed stats uh, first. Uh, no shots, no goals, no assists. Uh, 15 on 15 passes, at least that's a good stat to have. 10 on 15 dribbles, he improved a lot, but like I said, after the second half where he, we were, uh, he was one man down due to the red card, uh, it was all one way. So uh, he wasn't really, we, we didn't really have an opponent there. Um, and two on three tackles. So the stats say that he did good, but really I didn't feel him that he was that great in the game. Check out these stats, 24 shots, 15 on target, 64 possession, and we get three goals, which two of them we got late into the second half. So uh, this is the card. Uh, he has about 35, 36 face stats upgraded from his base card, it's called Rare, and he has about 150, 160 in-game stats upgrade. Um, he will, he has uh, he needs uh, an 86 rated team, so that will be I don't know somewhere in the 130 40k area, something like that, or maybe a bit less. I'm not sure. He didn't feel all that great. Um, to be honest, it was the same like Danilo, and Danilo is basically a free card. If I needed a card from Syria, I'll probably just get this Danilo because honestly, I didn't see a difference there. Maybe in some occasions, I prefer Danilo to this Maquie. If I needed that French connection there, uh, it, he's probably the only uh, option out there and that comes in that cheap and with uh, stats like these. We might need to change his chem style to something else and maybe give him more strength or something like that and he might uh, become a better card. So is he worth it for over 100k? No. Under 100k? It depends if you need him in the team and how bad you need him uh, on your links. Uh, for the nation or the, the league, I'd, I'd say somewhere around 80k should be, or under 80, 80k should be all right for this 84 rated card. Anything above that, I don't think is a, is a, is a good card to do. So this is going to be it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.